Hey, what's going on guys? It's Luffy Murdoch here. I need to do a chill back discussion video of what... <laughs> I bet it's not a chill back discussion video for most people, but... Evon, Gellion, Genesis... No. Neon Genesis and Evangelion, whatever. Which one had the better ending? The anime series or the, um, the end of, you know, a <laughs> movie? Um, I've recently watched um, 26 episodes, so this is going to be a um, point of view of somebody who's just recently watched it. And, like, I'm not someone who's going to watch it like a thousand times, unfortunately. Um, just because I'm not that type of person, at least anymore. Um, but if this is something I'll be watching again, definitely. It's a really, really good series. Um, probably, honestly, I, I rate um, my stuff very harshly. I think maybe, maybe not, maybe. I give it um, 8 out of 10, probably 8.5 out of 10. It's not, it's not really 100% for me, I don't think, but I did still enjoy it nonetheless. It's really creative, and that's especially at the end of each one. Like, the movie is definitely a, uh, like a mind, like, twist your mind. Um, like, it's just insanity all the way through. Um, if you haven't watched it for some reason, you're watching this, definitely recommend it. Um, probably do a why you should watch one day, maybe. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Why I think which one's better on, which one's not as good. So I was reading about up the anime and stuff, and I realised I remember there was someone saying like there's a movie around, and I was looking at it, and people were saying basically like, don't watch t episode twenty four, no twenty five and twenty six, because. Uh, They've made a movie based on them episodes, or on a alternative ending, as you will, um, towards them episodes. And I was like, oh, okay. I was thinking about it while I was watching it, and I decided in the end that no, I'll go watch the anime first, or at least maybe just watch the anime um, ending just as its own. But definitely, I'm happy I watched the movie in the end anyway. And yeah, for um. So I watched 25 and 26. Not really much happened in 25, really. Well, it is really, but like on the grand, grand, on the grand scheme of things, um, don't really that much happened. It was all mainly in 26. I really liked the um, 26's ending, Tosia. A lot of people weren't impressed with it at all because um, it was a bit weird in the end. It's like, wow, you've realised like this philosophy or this wet part of life, uh, Shingi. So yeah, the, um, so clapping at the end, like, I understand why maybe people might, may have, like, thought it wasn't a good ending, or what have you not, but I think it was really good, I'm particularly that I'm happy that, like, at least uh, Shingi survived, and everyone else survived, and that sort of thing, but there is debate um, whether or not the movie um, was actually just the actual ending of uh, Yvonne von Gellion, um, I'm going to stop saying it, but you know what I mean. Um, but here's the thing. In the beginning of the movie, Shinki was depressed. Like, he just didn't have the motivation to do anything. He was being really un um, irresponsible um, in the situation that he was in. Um, hope it, maybe he's like the older woman. I've really bad names, but you know what I mean. The older woman who died after kissing Shinki. Would have maybe survived or not if he had, he had a bit more motivation and like stop being i don't know i'm not saying people who like commit suicide are selfish at all but like you're in this dire situation and you just gonna let someone else like loads of people die all because you think it's necessary but like he could have like maybe done something about it but yeah going back to episode 26 i think he i don't know i think he was a good way to end the movie i think the what the Perhaps maybe the message that the creator was trying to um, convey got across. Maybe not. Maybe. But yeah, I thought it was a really good ending. I, I don't know. I just didn't think there'd be a point if there weren't any way of him, like, surviving. I'm not really, like, someone who likes tragic endings. So, yeah, I'm not really the biggest fan. I like just, like, a simple ending. I'm more of a journey type of person. Like, the journey throughout the series. And the journey throughout this series was really good as well. Or so maybe I didn't been been to watch it towards the end because I don't know. Maybe I missed some things out. I don't know, but I did get the overall picture at the end. But 
I think, yeah, she, I think it was, yeah. Just an aside, like, for people who have watched it and, like, said the dub, the dub was not rubbish, I personally don't think it was. I don't think it's necessarily a problem unless you've watched it. For people that watch who are new newcomers in this series, won't have a problem getting into this series whatsoever. As well as mentioning that, because it really, uh, it really irritates me. I know they changed the line, but at the end of the day, who, uh, I'm not really bothered by it. At least I know at the end of the day that it was supposed to be said in that specific way. But yeah. And then we go to the movie. Basically, the ending of what I thought would be the ending of the anime. Because unfortunately, it's been it's been hard to miss. But I have seen like, like in music, like trap videos, um, like it being like shown and stuff, like Ray come basically become a massive giant and being bigger than the earth and like absorbing everyone, absorbing all the humans. Um, it's pretty hard to miss. Um, so I knew that happened. So I was very confused. Like, why is this not happening in the anime? Um, despite I knew there was a movie, but I thought that was gonna be a part of the anime as well. But eventually, yeah. So like, it just pretty much like he wanted the put the creator probably just wanted to be as creative and as like mind blowing as possible and like probably like fireworks this time of day. But anyway, but um, probably be as creative and like question question life as much as possible in this and like just have like loads of symbolism to like religion and other like Japanese folklore and stuff. I don't know, he's like, I don't know, he's like, basically, I've, like, done some research on it, and basically, like, Asuka is basically the Eve, and Shingi is now the Adam, basically, as you as you are, and then there's Lilith in the background, <laughs> just a split face, and, like, it seems like a malfunction error or something like that, I don't really know, and it's basically, like, Asuka looking at Shingi and basically looking at the disgust that he's caused. So yeah, it looks like they're the only two people on the earth that's left. Apparently, I can see the um, direct like influence from Devil Man. Devil Man. I know Devil Man Cry. I've seen Devil Man Cry Baby. I haven't seen anything else beyond that Devil Man wise. But I know for a fact that um, like Devil Man Cry Baby's ending is pretty much the same as the manga. From what I've seen, I don't plan to like. Even though it was like one of my favorite anime of 2018, I think it was my favorite anime. I think there was a lot of competition. Um, there was a thing, yeah. There wasn't like any competition in 2018 as it was anyway. But I think 2018, yeah. What was it? But yeah, like um, there's, yeah, yeah. But you, I know what happens in the ending, and I can see like the direct influence that um, Devil Man had. Anyways, and I think, yeah, I think just, I think it was like, yeah, it was, it was fantastic visually and like mind, um, like mind boggling ending. And I like really appreciate the beautiful visuals and stuff. But I think 26 personally just had a bare ending story wise, just because I think it just, I don't know, perhaps maybe it spoke to me a bit more and like, like, there is a like conclusion towards the end and Shinji is like lying in his sin and stuff like Ray died. I'm really upset that Ray didn't get like an ending and stuff and like she was basically a doll throughout the whole series and towards the ending as well. I, I wish like she had a bit like I don't know, realised the humanity. Like I really like would have liked a um like a spin off type thing. Where the um, school thing actually happened. Like, if that, if that actually happened as a series, I would not mind whatsoever. And, like, hopefully, one, no, I don't think it will happen. Maybe a manga adaptation as well. That's something I would like to get into, though. Also, the mangas as well. And the manga has, like, a really big, like, volume book, um, book set as well. Considering, um, you know, like big big versions like a fizz pick i'm not sure if it's owned by fizz so i won't say a fizz pick i think it is a fizz pick actually i'm not too sure but, <coughs> but yeah that's something i like to get into um hopefully in the future um i've heard like big things but it's good overall if you watch it as um, a singular thing and i do like big mangas i don't actually own any big mangas as of yet so yeah i probably have to change that 
eventually. So yeah. Um so which one did I think it was ended um best had the best ending? I think um the anime series had the best ending. Um I do apologise in advance if it won like some proper descriptive like ending like what old like video or whatever, but I just it's just the way I do things at the moment. Maybe I'll come back to this uh, topic at hand. There's like some other movies to indulge in as well. Um like the rebuilt uh three episode three movies. So that'll be something to get into in the future. But I think um yeah, I prefer personally prefer the ending. Was the movie needed? Definitely. I really like appreciated like the imagery and like the way it went and stuff. I like the expansion of some stuff. But the purple haired like woman, I don't really get like how she became more action packed and ask her for that for matter of fact. Like they went all like Kung Fu y and stuff. Like people I think it people, I think it may be a that alternative universe like where the ver ver impact happened and that sort of thing. Maybe I need to go back and like watch it again one day to understand it a bit more. But I really did I really do enjoy this series. I really enjoyed the movie as well. But I did enjoy the I didn't really it's not really a, I think I put it this way, I think I enjoyed the movie more by enjoy I um, respect and appreciated the ending to the anime much more as well. Um, I've heard both voice uh, voice actors sets and I actually prefer the Netflix one to us, yeah. It's really like, I think the um, Neon Elon Genesis original dub just that actually doesn't sound that great to us, yeah. Just due to the fact that, I don't know, it's really cheap voice acting and I didn't really appreciate it. So yeah, anyway guys, I, I'm playing, I do Dr. Stone and probably that Neverland Reviews. And I have a um, why you should read Dr. Stone in the future coming out soon. And I hope to do more anime and manga reviews as time goes on. As time goes on. So yeah. Anyway guys, stay tuned for more. Love you all. See you next time. Peace.